One of the problems with nuclear energy is we have all this waste and we don't know what to do with it. Our plan for a while was to stuff it all inside this mountain, but Obama decided that that might not be the best idea. Instead, waste is stored temporarily in these tanks called spent fuel pools, which are usually kept on site at nuclear power plants. Spent fuel pools were originally designed to store fuel for only a decade or two. In fact, federal law required that in 1998, the U.S. Department of Energy start moving spent nuclear fuel from plant sites to its permanent place of storage, but for obvious reasons, this has not happened. Some nuclear plants have run out of capacity in their spent fuel pools and have moved their spent fuel rods to steel and concrete enforced dry casks, but these are all still only temporary forms of storage. Over the past 40 years, U.S. reactors have generated about 62,500 metric tons of spent fuel, enough if stacked end-to-end -to, -end to cover the area of a football field. Until we find a permanent place to put nuclear waste, it remains stored temporarily all over the United States. Some states have more quantities than others. And just to add some perspective, let's put the major cities on there as well. While hazardous waste is stored all around us, the facilities of U.S. nuclear power plants are aging. Even Jim Steets can't charm New Yorkers into forgetting about the shutdown of Indian Point One. Here are snapshots of rusted valves found during the search for the leak from Indian Point One. The leak was discovered to be coming from the spent fuel pools. These pipes were a focus of concern, but were actually a part of the containment spraying system, and disturbingly, were not related to the source of the leak at all. This is a map of the contamination that could occur around New York City if a catastrophe hit Indian Point. The reason for the big red zone is because there is actually no way to determine the route of contamination that would come from nuclear fallout. Radiation travels unpredictably down currents and corridors in the environment. When it comes to contamination, Valerie Coulet thinks that there is no peaceful way for the United States or anyone to maintain nuclear capabilities. Because of nuclear contamination, they can't make beer in Japan anymore. How long can we go without a real plan for storage? The spent fuel used for nuclear weapons in certain power plants lasts millions of years. They expect the pyramids are only a couple thousand years old. But we know very little about the pyramids. We don't even know what language they spoke. If we have all of this waste, where do we bury it? Do we make a sign? If so, what language would we use to warn people millions of years from now? That metaphor came from John Heine, who has worked at two nuclear power plants in Ohio. Here we have represented the half-lives of nuclear waste isotopes uranium, thorium, and plutonium, ranging from about 4.5 million years to 24,000 years. That last dot is how long we plan for it. Who knows what could be around millions of years from now. According to Indian Point tour guide Pat Falciano, there is no waste issue. It is possible to take used fuel and remake it, and this act alone would eliminate up to 80% of our nuclear waste. The problem is that the recycled product would consist of 1% plutonium, so the federal government has banned this process and called it a peace problem. Others might call it a priority problem. But before you even weigh in the economic benefits of nuclear energy, really consider what are we going to do with all of the highly dangerous radioactive waste.